all know I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch us next bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Glim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Call you 
here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? For real, alien cum? What's wrong with you? I know it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum, and we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. Look, I can't believe we're doing this, but let's have some cum. Whoa, look at you! You want some alien cum? I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off of free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Flam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Mr. Keep, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, uh, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. Real cool suit, where'd you get it here? You gotta buy something. You ever been to a store before? You know how this works, right? The longer you take it here, the longer I have to look like I give a shit. Take good care of your purchase, Bounty Hunter. I spent 15 years polishing it. That's a lot of running. Aren't you fucking tired? How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate mister keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great! Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Klug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a catnap in. This is your bedroom? Okay. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap?
Holy shit, this rules! Whoops. Uh, maybe let's try that again. Holy shit, this rules! Nice! Help a guy in a hole with hits like this. Help! Help! Somebody help me! Help me! Help! Oh, check out that landing. Goddamn! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You could fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. I'm broken. Oh. I'm just... I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, right, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? No, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Gene I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Klug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Uh, 
a moplet! It's you, the savior! Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that's us. Uh, where is everyone? Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Oh, shit. Okay, well, no guarantees we're gonna save them again, but wh wh where are they? They're working at Screndo Labs now. Just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Thanks! Why'd you let me sit there gathering dust? Scanner on the bounty suit, you might as well use it. to good use. Nice, we're really flying, huh? Really cool stuff, Bounty Hunter, like we're flying. Okay, this definitely must be the right way because, you know, we, 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 uh, we, we haven't gone this way yet, you know? Something guilt-free, you know? 
Sweezy's always the right choice. What's the plan? Check out the lug locks. Cause I sure am. Oh, I love it. Whoa. Someone just come in. Sorry, I need a job. Oh, hold on. Don't, don't pass through here. I've got to make these signs just once. Just one sec. 